Hey guys, Ray David here. It has been quite some time since I did a video on an app on my iPhone. So today I'm here to finally cover App Dictation 2.0, which was just released to the App Store, um, I believe a couple days ago. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop the video. Did I just say App Dictation 2.0? What am I, drunk? Clearly, I meant as the title suggests above the video, Dragon Dictation 2.0. Alright, that's it. Enjoy the video. Let me open my utilities folder. Actually, yes, first of all, I'll check out my only two home screens. It's very clean, very clutter free. I'm loving it. Anyway, utilities, Dragon Di Dictation 2.0. There it is. Basically, what this app does is it recognizes your voice and turns it into text. But first of all, let me take you through the options. On the bottom left, we have a keyboard for inputting custom text just in case the app doesn't recognize everything perfectly. And on the bottom right is all the interesting stuff. Touch an app presents you with the options of social networking. So for instance, if I say a phrase, I can post it to either my Facebook profile or my Twitter profile, which I think is awesome and it saves a lot of time. Language, you can obviously set up um, e uh, either English in the UK or English in the United States, or just by default, English in the US. Obviously, I'm from the US. Recognizable names, I suggest keeping that on. Detect end of speech, I don't have that on because just in case I stop talking for a second, it'll stop but it's still a nice feature in case you're into that. And uh, reset enrollment, this will reset your voice profile. I do not want to do that, so let's back out. And down here, you can obviously see it's version 2.0.0. All right, so now let's show the actual cool part of the app, and that's the tap and dictate function, which is, well, obviously the main feature of this app, where it says tap and, and tap and dictate, and it has that big red obvious button. You really can't miss it. You tap that, you dictate, and the app does its best job to convert your voice into text. And for this video's purpose, I'll tap, and then pull away from the camera, that way the microphone on, on the bottom of the iPhone picks up my voice the best it can. Alright, so let's do this. This is David DeFranco testing Dragon Dictation 2.0, period. Then we can tap done. This is David DeFranco testing Dragon Dictation 2.0, period. Now, in my opinion, and obviously it's a fact, you can see it right here, it did an excellent job. Now, if it did make a mistake, which it did not, you can tap the keyboard and keep typing. So I'll type, this was perfect. Awesome. Okay, let's bring that back down. Now, exclusive to iOS 4.0, and, and I think this feature is just downright awesome, you can tap this, and now it finally supports in-app SMS texting. So if I tap that, now I can text it to anyone I want. Now obviously I'm not going to show anybody's numbers for this video's purpose, but you get the point. And I can also, uh, as, as mentioned before, I can post it to Facebook, which I will not. Actually, what the heck, I will. Send to Facebook. And now if you add me at facebook.com slash David DeFranco, you'll see that it should be posted there. And I can also, oops, sorry. Okay, actually it cleared it out. Now, it would be nice if it keeps the text in there, honestly, um, because I wanted to send it to Facebook and Twitter. So to the guys who created this app, maybe you can add that in the future. Who knows? Anyway. That's actually perfect because now I can test out another phrase. This time I'll say, hmm, here we go. Check out David DeFranco's Facebook and Twitter pages for more information. That's a bit trickier. Check out David DeFranco's Facebook and Twitter pages for more information. I gotta say guys, I'm really impressed by this. Now of course, just like Facebook, I can post it to Twitter um, and I can, um, you can email it. It's pretty basic, but it's cool. And again, it does it all within the app. So you never have to actually leave the app. And of course, you can copy it. So if I were to go to, let's open Safari, post it here, paste, and then I can search. Now obviously, it's not gonna find any real relative information, but you get the point. As always, check out the social links under the video, and if you guys want to see any of these apps explained more in detail, just let me know. Here are my social links in case you're interested. My Flickr, Echo Phone, Geocaching, Colloquy, and many other apps. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in my next video.